Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. What about you? Alhamdulillah. Hmm. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Alhamdulillah. I speak Arabic. What does that mean? Alhamdulillah. What does that mean? You speak Arabic. Uh, eh, little. So why you ask me? Well, I'm asking you what Alhamdulillah mean. What's wrong with that? I mean, is it, is, is it bad to ask you what Alhamdulillah mean? It mean praise all to Allah. Okay, so who is the one who said first time Alhamdulillah? What do you mean first time? Who is the first one who did say that? Me. Who? Me. What do you mean me? Who are you? I say first to you. No, no, no. Who is the first time? Who is the first time person who spoke and say Alhamdulillah? Is that your God, Allah? Well, I don't think so. Well, is it the Quran says in chapter one, verse number two, Alhamdulillah? What oh, is it? I don't know. You are a Muslim, not me. Yeah, but I'm not Hafiz. Okay, but uh, so how Allah? He is Allah, and He say Alhamdulillah. Explain to me how Allah is Allah, but yet He say Alhamdulillah. Well, it means he is praising himself. So okay, but if he is Allah, how he say, praise be to Allah? He's speaking third person. So is he more than one person or he is this like one person? No, he's one person, but speaking third person. Okay, he's one person, but he always talk about himself as third person. Don't you think, fine, this is a kind of strange? Why he is saying Alhamdulillah if he is Allah? Sometimes God work in mysterious way. Well, your God is always mysterious. This to the point you can't explain to me anything about himself. Anything I will say to you from now on, you will say it's mysterious, right? Well, you say same fortunity, so you no, know. No, we don't say, no, we explain it. It's very easy. The Trinity is very easy. Even the Quran explain it. The Trinity, no, every, everything still, around you, everything around you is explained by the Trinity. Even even there is something is called the golden ratio. The golden ratio, it's a simple mathematic calculation. Prove to you that every beauty exists in this earth is based on golden ratio, which is two to three, which means two to one. The number is three. The golden ratio. Even water, it's H, even water, the, the, the source of life for us is H2O, which means three. Even you is a body, is, 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 you, you, even you is a body and a soul, and you used to be dust in the same time. So he made dust, he made you a body, he made you a human being, living a human being, and he gave you life. Everything around us is based on number three. You, when you pray, so you, you, say, you, say, you say the name of Allah three times. Why, 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 say, why you say the name of Allah three times? What is When it? did I say that? What do you? Huh? What do you mean? Uh -huh. Don't you say what is the what is the what is the verse you recite every day when you pray? What is the first verse you, re you recite? First verse hmm. is the first page of the Quran. Right. What is that verse? Well, you know. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Right. Well, that's not a verse, though. This not verse. So what it is? Bismillah, you say all the time, every time. Yeah, I know, but this is a verse. It's verse number one in chapter number one. What's wrong with you? This is verse oh. number one, chapter number one. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So how many names you repeat you as a Muslim when you start reciting? Bismillah. What you say? In the name of Allah, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Are these all three and one in the same time or they are three? Who is Allah? Who is ar-Rahman? Who is ar-Rahim? Yes. Who are they? There's only one. This is not the question. Who are they? Allah, Rahman. Why you are reciting three names for one God? Why you don't recite one name? What about reciting four names? Why three? Well, you know, I do not understand Arabic. I just recite. I'm not this speaking to you in are. Arabic. I'm reciting to you. I'm speaking to you in English. Isn't it the language you are using to me now? I'm not reading for you in Arabic. I'm saying to you, those names you know, you repeat them. You said you recite them already every day. Okay, that's wonderful. So why they are three? Why they are three, my friend? You mean Bismillah? Yes, Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Three names. Why three names? Maybe for emphasis. What emphasis? Why three? The question is why three? 
Why not four? Why not five? More than antithesis. Why not six? Two. Why not seven? Why not eight? Why it is a three? Well, it's not. It's, it's, it's just a random number, you know. It doesn't have to have meaning. What? What? Uh, are you saying your God, Allah, He say things without meaning? I say meaning, it's emphasis. So you saying it more than once, it is special. But this is not the but question. But the number three doesn't matter. If it can be no, number it matter. five. Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that your God, He's, He say things uh, for no reason. He just say stupid things. He don't mean it. reason. Okay, so what is the reason to mention three names? He, Allah, even Allah, He have how many, how many names? Your God have how many names? I think I have little book. It says ninety nine names. Thank you very much. For, thank you. So. Uh, uh, 99 names is multiply of what multiply of number three okay so even the names the total names the total names of your god is multiply of number three how many years jesus he lived in earth? how many years how many years jesus lived in earth in this earth according to islam 33 years the names of allah x x the age of jesus in earth is 33 x3 that is 99 so what's your point is my point is everything in your religion everything in your cult is based on number three but yet you muslims you keep questioning the trinity when you pray when you do ablution is it true that you you, you do things everything three times how many times you blow your nose three times three times okay oh how, how many time you have to wipe your face you mean in the wudu the ablution yes. yeah the ablution ablution yeah we would do how many times you need to do everything? Is it three times? Why? Why three times? Mostly three. Okay, why? Because this is what is told by the Sunnah. That's Before wonderful, but why? Why three times? What that's mean? We don't you have, are not we know why. That, we know, we know why. We know why. Because you are trying to say your 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 God is trying to say to you supposedly, eternity is the way to be perfect, pure, to pray to Allah. Remember, you are doing what? You are doing wudu. You are performing wudu. But if we go time, right now, if we go right now to the website, an Islamic website, to show us how they do wudu. Let me show the people here. This is a Muslim website. As you see, here we go. How to perform wudu. All right. How we perform wudu. Read carefully with me. First thing you do, you make niya, which means you you know you prepare yourself and you start saying certain things. Okay, you say in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay, how you do that? Let us see. Wash your hands, your left hand to wash the right hand. Do this three times. <laughs> you know why this is why three times? Coincidence. What? It's just a number, man. No, well, it's not a number. Are you saying to me that you Muslims you follow silly numbers? They don't mean nothing any to you. Somebody says to me in uh, in Skype, "Why you curse Allah?" But uh, Allah is what? Hold on, let me see what this guy said. Why you curse Allah? But Allah is the name in the Arabic version in, uh, of Genesis. This is a false translation, my friend. In the book of Genesis, there is no Allah. That is a stupid translation. Did I but answer Allah you? Yeah, means God in English. No, Allah is not, is not an is a word mean God. Allah is a name. No, it means God. You know. Okay, I my friend, my friend, you are wasting my time. So, do you know why you have to do things at three time? Why? Because the Sunnah told us. Why? But why? Take water into your mouth. Use your and point your 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 hand cup water into your mouth three time. Why three time? Why? What is the secret behind three time? Three time will make you perfectly clean, supposedly. Is that correct? If you do it through time, it's not accepted. If you do it four times, not accepted. You have to do it three times in the name of who? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Well, you think so? That's what you Well, I'm not thinking. You tell me. You tell me why three times? Well, if we if we go now in this in this page and we search for the word three time. Hmm? This is no one ever thinks of this every muslim when they yeah because do muslims this, don't use their, their, your brain uh, have you ever seen a muslim use his brain you don't use your brain you use your hands you use your your bum you don't use your brain no no here we go three times look how many times how many times you repeat three times your hands three times your left hand three times your lower lower uh, three times 
uh, uh, your mouth and your feet three times. Look at this. I mean, everything is three times. Three times. All your religion is based on three times. Even your prophet, when he enter a place, he say, Assalamu alaikum, three times. Why? Okay. But that doesn't make Trinity. No, you need to ask, you need to answer me. You need to tell me if you don't believe in the Trinity, why everything is a Trinity. You reject the Trinity of the Christians, but you practice the Trinity. Everything in your life is about Trinity. You say the name of Allah three times. You wash your hands three times. You do the the, the, the face three times, the hands, the feet. Everything okay. is three okay. times. <laughs> now let me ask you. Is okay. Let me ask you if but you if you divorce you your wife, if you divorce your wife. What is the final oh. divorce? What is the final divorce in Islam? Is it true that if you divorce your wife three times, she can't get back to you? Is that correct? You mean talak? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why three times? I don't know. It's just uh, here we go. You do not know. Okay. Forget about three times. Is it true that even you want to fast, you fast three times, like Zechariah and Mary, etc. They fast three times in Islam. Why three times? Three days. Why three days? What about four? What about one week? It's just an order. Is better. What is the point of order. three time? There's, it's not an. Yeah, but you need to know why the order three time. Why three time? Why three days? Okay, so do you have example of this in the Old Testament? Three number. My friend, my friend, you see, you are you are the one who is talking about that. Why we believe in three when you believe in the tree? Don't tell me. Do you have an example in the Old Testament? What, what what the what the Old Testament have with our topic now? Why you why you switch? We Christians believe in the Old Testament and the New Testament, and in the Old Testament right away in the book of Genesis, verse number one, verse number two, it says that God He created the whole world and His spirit was above. His spirit. So we have Father, we have the Spirit, and then we we know that in the Old Testament that God came to Abraham in the, in the form of a man. This is the Old Testament, not the New Testament. So in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Prove to us that God is exist and He is He can be and He is more than one person, which means He present Himself as a spirit, He present Himself as a man if He want, because this is how He is. This is His He is capable, He is God, He's Almighty. The second you say God cannot be, it's mean He cannot be God. What can make God God? Because He can do everything. Can I fly now um, without airplane? I cannot. Think man is, my, fr my friend, man let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. If a, if somebody became a man, can he still God and, he, and a man at the same time? What is your opinion? No, you can't be. You cannot. Okay, I want to. Then I want to ask you a question. Remember, guys, we asked Mister. Uh, what, what's your name? Khan. Whatever your name. What's your name? Khan Sab. Khan. Mister Khan. Yes, Mister Khan. All right. As long as you say it. That God cannot be a man and be God in the same time, correct? Well, that makes sense. Okay, you, you agree with that. Okay, no problem. Now, Allah, He sent, according to you Muslims, He sent His Spirit, which is the angel Jibreel, and He became a man. Is that correct? Mm. Chapter 19, oh, verse chapter number, 19, yes. verse number 17. Do you agree with that, Quran? Yeah. Okay. If God cannot be man and cannot be God in the same time, that means the angel cannot be angel and a man in the same time. Yeah, but angel is different. That's divine being. What divine being? Uh, you, your, your prophet called him the Holy Spirit, which means he's holy. How the angel can be a man? Now we have Jibreel became a man. Is he an angel in the same time or he is an angel? Before and now he became a man and he cannot go back and became an angel. Is he an angel when he was a man or not? Ah... Uh. I have to look into that. Do you promise me you will look into that? Well, I have an offer for you. What about you call? What about you call your sheikh? What about you call your sheikh and ask him to call me live, and I will speak to him with respect. Just tell me, call me. Says I have my sheikh. He is with me. He want to talk to you, Christian Prince. Let's see how you, how your sheikh will do. Uh, he doesn't have Skype. You have a Skype. You call me from your Skype. He will sit next to you. Okay. Uh... I could arrange that, but to That's be wonderful. honest with you, he's not going to be too sure about that because from what I've seen from you, you're very, you know, disrespectful and ready. Why I am disrespectful? What I said to you, did I call you names? Did I insult you? I did not say anything. 
the one who is rude, I answered him. The one is rude, I answer him with what he deserves. Did I call you names? Did I say anything? I called you Mr. Khan, correct? You wanna yes, be you wanna be rude with me? You wanna be rude with me? You wanna be rude with me? I will shower you. I will shower you with what is fit with you. You are respectful. I speak to you with respect. Your brother is the one who called me and say the F word to me. I did not say the F word to any Muslim. I didn't hear that. That's that's bad. Yeah, I did not say the F word. I never I never say the F word to any Muslim. Now here, when I say to a Muslim, you are kissing a black stone, which is a vagina. Am I lying? Oh yeah, you're lying. Why you? I'm lying. What is your proof? Obviously not. The... Huh? That's your problem. You think it's that? That means you have something wrong in you. Hey, my friend, can you prove? Can you prove to me that I'm wrong? Let me ask you: Is it true that your prophet he said the black stone used to be white and became a black? Brother, let me focus on the other issue. The no, 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 no. No, no. I'm gonna uh, let, us, let us let us talk about this. Why the black stone was white and became a black, according to your understanding? Uh, well, from my knowledge, I think it didn't just become over time. It just it over time. Black. Okay, why? But why? Well, I don't know. It's natural. What do you mean natural? It's not special for me. It just naturally became black. Are you, are you talking about that? I, I don't really know about that either, man. 